Hey, I'm Creeks. This is Creech and Cars, and today I'm going to be talking about the Lincoln Star concept and the future of the Lincoln brand. So it's no secret that American luxury cars have been suffering at the hands of the German 3 and then furthermore from Japanese competitors. And now things look even worse with the rise of Genesis. Tesla gave a huge boost to the American auto industry, and now Lincoln is close to producing its first electric car. Lincoln has released a concept car called the Star and I'm going to go over everything we know about this car and whether or not I think its production can succeed in today's luxury SUV market. First off, let's take a look at Ford EVs. So this story starts with the Mustang, air quotes, Mach-E, which aside from the misleading name has been a fairly successful car and I think it's a good offering as Ford's first modern EV. I think this car sets up a good foundation for Ford and for Lincoln going forward, especially because the Mach-E isn't cheap and is marketed as a more premium vehicle, just still a Ford and not a Lincoln. I think the Mach-E proves that Ford has the technology and resources to produce an EV in many segments, and the large luxury SUV segment is huge right now. So producing an electric Lincoln to compete with the X7, GLS, Model X, etc. would be a great move for the dying brand as Lincoln sales fell 17.5% last year. So let's go over the new star concept. This is only a concept vehicle for the time being, but it does show that Lincoln has new things in the works, and Lincoln said that it will release an electric vehicle this year. Lincoln President Joy Falatico said, as Lincoln enters the next chapter in our transition to a zero emissions future, the Lincoln Star concept will lead the way for our portfolio of fully electric vehicles. The brand plans to launch four new electric vehicles by 2026, and 50% of its global sales are projected to be electric vehicles at that time. Joy Falatico also stated that the new Star will provide a basis for Lincoln's new design language moving into this new era. The Star is an SUV and likely a full-sized one. It would be around the $70,000 mark. I will be showing pictures that have been released of it in the background of this video, and some are saying that it is reminiscent of a Range Rover, and I don't disagree. I also don't think that it would be a bad move for Lincoln to go for. One of the most interesting parts about the design is the front of the Star. So it looks like the front has a glass ceiling. I doubt that this is something that would make it to a production, model. The hood portion of the frunk vertically raises and the grille area extends outward as the frunk opens. Uh, this design has created some buzz, but I think this is just a concept car quirk and that the potential production model was something a lot more traditional and frankly a lot more practical. The star also has lighted logos on the front and sides reminiscent of Mercedes as well as Lincoln spelled out in the back that is also backlit. Uh, it would be similar to what the Navigator has now but a little more aggressive with the lighting. It also has uh, rear hinged rear doors and then front hinged front doors. I don't want to say what those are called because of YouTube and stuff but you know like a Rolls Royce. I don't think that would be likely on a production model but one thing I do think would be likely is the split tailgate. This is also something that the new Range Rover has and I think it would be fine to bring that over to a production model. I think the wheels look high-end and sporty with the two-toned angular design. Moving on to the interior, it's a little more out there than the exterior. The gauge cluster runs across the entire dash and overall it's pretty minimalistic. The interior is mostly white with a burgundy brownish color in the rear. One picture appears to show that the front seats could swivel around to face the rear. I think that the production model will share this minimalistic design but will probably be closer to what is found in the Mach-E and it may be a more minimalistic take on what the current Navigator interior has that still feels very high-end and with nice materials and you can definitely expect a lot of screen space. So nothing has been announced about the Star Concept specs or an upcoming Lincoln EV SUV specs. Ford originally had plans to partner with Rivian for the vehicle's powertrain but that deal seems to have fallen through. We can take a look at the top trim Mach-E for an estimate of where the Lincoln EV might be. The top trim Mach-E currently offers 480 horsepower and 634 pound-feet of torque from a motor that's powered by a 98.8 kilowatt lithium-ion battery. The range for the Lincoln SUV should be at least around 300 miles per charge. So I think this star concept is a little late, especially considering that this is a concept and doesn't seem to be that close to a production model. The redesigned Navigator in 2018 showed that Lincoln can create some buzz with a good model, and Tesla has shown that American luxury cars can be cool. Both Lincoln and Cadillac are in need of serious rebranding that couldn't come soon enough, and Ford has to realize that the more time that passes, the harder it will be to rebrand Lincoln as it releases electric models. 
Another factor here is the Cadillac Lyric. Now I might make a video that goes more in depth on this comparison, but for now, I just wanna say that for the upcoming Lincoln EV SUV, it can't just compete with and be compared to a Cadillac. The importance of this vehicle cannot be understated and it must lift Lincoln out of its current position as a luxury brand for old people. This has to be good enough to be brought into conversation with well-established competitors like BMW, Audi, Tesla, Lexus, etc. This has to at least bring the brand into normal luxury SUV conversation and not just is it good for a Lincoln and can it compete with a Cadillac? So that's all I have for you today. I will definitely make a video once more info on the production model is released. And I do want to say that I am a fan of Lincoln's and I do want the brand to succeed. I hope Ford recognizes how important this car is for the future of the company. And then I might make a video comparing the production model to the Lyric once uh, some more official information on that comes out. So thanks for watching. Let me know if what you think of the new Lincoln Star concept in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.